NATO member state Norway now allows Ukraine to make direct purchases from Norwegian weapons manufacturers. The Norwegian government said on Monday that Russia's policy change in response to the two-year aggression war in Ukraine will enter into force. Licenses will only be given on a case basis. Ukraine has been relying on foreign weapons and military assistance since Russia began with the occupation of its territory on February 24, 2022. In the case extraordinary security of the aggression Russia, it is very important that we continue to support Ukraine. Norwegian Foreign Minister Espen Barthide said, support to Ukraine is important for Norway and European security. On August 24, 2023, Norwegian Prime Minister Jonas Gahr Start greeted Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky at a press conference in Ukraine, Kiev. Norway announced this week that Ukraine would allow Norwegian manufacturers to buy direct weapons. The Norwegian government donated more than 1 billion of military aid Ukraine for 2023. The publication on Monday undertakes that the government would continue to provide significant military support Ukraine. Norway is also one of the four European NATO allies who promised Kiev to provide dozens of F-16 fighter planes. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky Scandinavian leaders Norwegian Prime Minister Jonas Gar. Start last month. Ukraine. Financial human support to Ukraine. A five-year $6.8 billion aid package increased by about $800 million. This was approved in February. According to Kiel World Economy Institute, Norway donated fourth largest military aid to Ukraine during war with Russia during war with Russia. More than 60 billion requested by President Joe Biden is held in Congress due to unrelated partisan disagreements on the U.S.-Mexico border security. Last week, the Biden administration sent the final aid package to Ukraine dated 2023 sent a 250 million missile artillery tour ammunition and other types of military equipment materials. In addition, the United States dried up. Ukraine learned that last month by the Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban. A European Union planned to give 54 billion military aid. However, Orban, an ally to Russian President Vladimir Putin, pointed out that Hungary could allow EU aid to be sent if exempted from participation.